wipe the sweat off my face using this microfiber towel. But it is boiling, it's 35 Celsius in here. And good old 50 kilowatt, which is perfect because the mini only charges at 50 kilowatts, even though we're at it. I've actually got a thermometer set up for cabin temperature, 37.2. That is boiling in there. Hello and good morning. Welcome back to Simply Greg's EV. A question I am often asked repeatedly over and over again is what is your efficiency with air conditioning on versus air conditioning off? And how much energy do you use air conditioning on versus off? Well, today that's what we're going to find out. We're here in the Mini Cooper. Uh, I chose this car for a few specific reasons. One, glass roof, heat pump, a lot more efficient than the uh, 500e but also today it's probably going to be one of the hottest days of the summer so far summer just started here in montreal and it was brutal yesterday and it's going to be brutal today so sit back let's get into it and we'll just see exactly how much you lose with the air conditioning on if you lose any at all we're going to get to a charging site we're going to charge the car back up to 100 percent state of charge We'll do a run about 100 kilometers round trip with the air conditioning on. Probably be driving about 110 kilometers an hour, whatever that is in miles per hour, I have no idea. We'll turn around halfway, head back to the charging site, plug the car back in, see how much energy it takes to charge back up to 100%, note it, then turn the air conditioning off, roast inside the car like a turkey, then do that same run again and see how much energy goes back inside the car and compare the two. And we'll also figure out what the um, cost is for having the air conditioning on in that run. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, you should go and drive further. Uh, my car displays all this stuff. True, but I think around the 100 kilometers should kind of give us a rough idea of um, the efficiency and how much energy is used. We're at the charging site now, 84% state of charge. We drove about 30 kilometers from home. So that gave enough time for the battery to warm up. Plus the car has been sitting outside for a few days already. I haven't driven the Mini in a few days. So we'll get plugged in. The car, the car is off now. We're going to charge it with the car off. Sunscreen is, is open, car is off, windows are open. We'll get plugged in over here the good old flow 50 kilowatt which is perfect because the mini only charges at 50 kilowatts even though we're at a high state of charge we'll be here a while but it will be a good test i swear this will be a good test unfortunately finally got the car charging after three times with the app it kept crashing for whatever reasons anyways we'll be here for a while because we're going up to 100 percent state of charge now before somebody in the comment section because i know it's going to happen saying well you know it's not that hot well we uh, we have been going through a bit of a heat wave here and according to my thermometer it is 31.6 degrees celsius if you see if you see that again so i'm not making this up saying how hot it is outside and i got a this thermometer specifically for this test so no one could say in the comment section that oh maybe it's 20 degrees and we don't know and i know a lot of you will also be saying well why didn't you do this around solar noon or so on and so forth as i already said i really want to go to the pool today it's a holiday here in quebec it's uh, saint jean baptiste I really want to go spend time by the pool in the, in, for, um, to enjoy this nice weather because winter time gets very depressing. So here we are, we're doing it now. We're still going to get some good results out of this and we'll have some fun while doing it. We'll check back in once the car's at 100%. Just about to finish charging up here. Let's go get unplugged because this is about to finish. So the first run we're going to do, we'll do it without the air conditioning on. Here, we'll stop. We'll stop the charge. We're already close enough. This doesn't have to be super, super accurate for our measurement purposes. That's unplugged. That's back in. There we go. That's back in. We'll take these off for today. Throw these back inside. Perfect. Now we can finally go. Okay, so we'll turn the car on and car is on 
we shall go we'll reset the trip and we shall reset the kilowatt meter as well so first run is going to be air conditioning off in the car it's completely off nothing is on we're going to put the car into green or into eco mode hvac is all off in here the sunshades are back on both panes of glass. We're showing 32.5 Celsius in here. I have the temperature probe just sitting down there underneath the uh, backpack. And I think we're good to go here. We'll keep the windows open, obviously, otherwise I, I will die. And uh, yeah, let's get here on the road. We're at 100% state of charge. On the road, like I said, we'll do about uh, 100 kilometers. So I think we'll be turning around somewhere near Alexandria for the run back at uh, showing 32 Celsius outdoor air temperature. Got ourselves a very light headwind today. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Roll up the windows for now as we're just getting out of here in uh, Dorion. Hopefully we make that light. We just dip down now to 99% state of charge and it is getting properly hot in this car already. Still at 32 Celsius on the uh, thermometer. I think that was a good idea getting that uh, thermometer to be honest with you. This way we have a good accurate test. I'm already starting to sweat. We're in like 400 meters into the test already. And we'll be driving at 110 kilometers an hour, slightly over the speed limit in Quebec and exactly the speed limit in Ontario. The Mini is showing 178 kilometers remaining range but the gasometer on this car is so horribly off it doesn't even matter so we'll start accelerating here up to speed and we shall check in shortly we traveled roughly 30 kilometers we're just passing Revere Vaudette now average speed's been pretty good we've been averaging 109.3 kilometers an hour traffic is heavy but it's not too bad you you, you can keep up a, a decent pace uh, like I said, traveled 30 kilometers so far. We're already at 81% state of charge. So hopefully we'll remember that when we uh, swing back around with the air conditioning on, what state of charge we, we are at. Cabin temperature is at 32.6 Celsius. And um, if I haven't mentioned it already, uh, I've been uh, keeping the um, window open when, when the camera's off. So we're not gonna die in here today. And we're averaging 19.2 kilowatt hours per hundred, but as I said, I'm pretty sure there's a uh, there's a small little headwind now, so nothing crazy that will cancel out on the on the return. But we are almost at our turnaround point. When we turn around, we'll check back in when we start heading back east. Turnaround point. We're at uh, 47 kilometers driven so far. We're just getting off here off the uh, 401 at um, Alexandria. Exit, we'll loop back around here. If you're familiar to the channel, you know that this is where a, a Circle K charging site is. So we'll loop back around here. We'll get back on to the um, 401. We'll head eastbound back into Quebec, back towards um, our charging point. So far, so good here. Really no uh, complaints. So we shall get back on here. You know what, I'm gonna pitch, I'm gonna pitch it into the corner here. I have the tires for it. Let's, have, let's make this a bit of fun. So we'll get back up to 110 and we'll continue driving. Cabin temperature has gone up to 34.5, almost 35 Celsius degrees in here. And now the sun's right above me. Now I'm gonna start cooking properly. You get to watch me suffer in here. And I think that could be the best part of the video is watching a larger bald man in a very small car sweating for very unscientific reasons. So we'll just continue along here. Cruise control is set. We're good. We'll check back in soon. I also may know what some of you might be thinking. Oh, the battery was cold, blah, blah, blah. It was about 30 kilometers to get out to the charging site. The car has been outside. I actually just checked using the OBD2 app on, on the phone. Battery temperature, cell temps are at uh, 32 Celsius. So just slightly cooler than, uh, what, than uh, what the cabin temp is. So the battery is actually having a cooler time than I am. And the sun is literally right above me right now. I think I might put my uh, hat on just to stay out of the sun a bit. There we go, hats on. Music will be playing as soon as I stop filming because you know what's gonna happen. You'll get a, some copyright claim for some song that no one's ever heard. So we'll just continue along here at 100. 
Back at the charging site now, we've driven 95.5 kilometers, 47% state of charge. Average efficiency is 17.3 kilowatt hours per 100. And our average speed is 101 kilometers. It's been going down because we're, we're standing still now, but it was around 107 when we um, got off the highway. So we'll get plugged in. Cars here. plugged in, 47% state of charge. We're going to be here for a while. It is absolutely brutally hot. I am literally dying of heat, sweaty, the car was hot inside, so this run is going to be good with the air conditioning on. And to be honest with you, I don't think there's really going to be a difference in efficiency. Electric heat pumps are um, extremely efficient. The electric AC compressors are extremely efficient. This is not like the old school uh, belt driven compressors. And the Mini overall is very efficient for what it is. It might have a small battery, but it's an extremely efficient EV. We'll get charged up here. We'll go back up to 100% state of charge. We'll take a note of how much energy went in with this charge and we'll compare it to the final charge when we get back after the air conditioning run. Um, comment, leave your comment below thinking, what is there going to be a difference? Is there going to be a massive difference? Is there going to be any difference at all? Leave it in the comment section, please. The car is finished charging. I actually ran across the street to McDonald's to grab an iced coffee and to cool off in the air conditioning. So we're done here. We shall unplug like usual. I always forget the Mini unlatches very quickly versus the Fiat, which doesn't. So we'll get back on the road here and we will see what the temperature is here. 42.5, sorry, 42.4 Celsius. We'll jump in, reset everything and we'll get back on the road. Let's get some air conditioning on in here. We'll get this on. We'll set it to automatic. 18 Celsius. I'm going YOLO. I want it cold in here. I'm dying of heat. We'll set it to 18 in automatic. We'll put the car back into green. Let's get out of here and uh, pick up this test and we'll see if we get any different uh, measure of efficiency. Cabinet temperature is uh, 42.6 and we'll see if that comes down during the Corsa run. Trip computer reset. Everything's been reset. Let's get on the road. Let's do this quicker we do this the faster I can get into the pool that's the goal I really want to get into the pool today so this is kind of dragging out it's already 11 30. let's go let's go let's go let's go the faster we get this done I can jump in the pool and enjoy the rest of the uh, holiday it is a holiday here in Quebec as I've mentioned we'll only do one GoPro this time to keep you with updates the other stuff is kind of getting in my way and again the sunshade is open there's nothing here glass roof perfect conditions as we set back out we'll just try to time it so we get the light but i got a funny feeling traffic might be heavier and we have to average around 107 kilometers an hour by the time we uh, pull in back to that charging site which should not be a problem so we'll check in by Riviera Baudet again to see where we are i believe when we hit there we were around 81 percent state of charge air conditioning set to automatic 18 celsius in here this is going to be a lot more comfortable than the previous run, I'll tell you that. Outdoor air temperature has only gone up like two degrees, so we're still within the margin of air. But hey, we're out here having fun. If we wanted to be in closed conditions, we would be in a laboratory somewhere. So we'll, we'll get this done. Just passing Revere Baudet now, roughly where we checked in the first time. Uh, 79%, 78, 79% state of charge. I believe when we passed there in the first run without air conditioning, we were around 81% state of charge. So slight, slight difference already in state of charge. I'm trying to keep everything as even and closely matched as it was before as we pass this section of missing road. I'm trying to keep everything as equally as matched as possible so that we have accurate results but so far there seems to be just slightly more energy consumption outside air temperature has not really gone up it's hovering around 32 celsius according to the car i believe on the run going uh, on the first run is around 31 so it's not really a huge difference at the end of the day cabin temperature depending where this probe is and how accurate this probe is cabin temperature is a cool 26.8 so a lot a lot cooler in here and the air conditioning is on so it's always blowing on you so it feels cool automatically uh, Ontario border is up ahead we'll say hi to Doug Ford in the uh, sportsman's paradise and we'll do the same thing we'll get to Alexandria we'll loop back around and come the other way and just one more thing the 
headwind seems to still be there judging by the uh, Quebec flag. So we're all good here. I think we're very evenly matched in terms of um, keeping the test very controlled, similar conditions. So we're all good over here. We'll check in again shortly. We're finished charging, friends. So the first run that, that we did was 16.79 kilowatt hours without the air conditioning. We drove the same distance. You already know everything was pretty much the same. We came back, char charged up. We used 16.79 kilowatt hours of energy. Then we headed back out with the air conditioning on. So with the air conditioning on, it was 18.46 kilowatt hours. Both times we charged up to 100% state of charge until the car completely stopped. So the grand total usage, efficiency, kilowatt hours used was 1.76 for roughly a 100 kilometer drive. That's how much energy was used with the air conditioning on. Now, that's not a lot, obviously, the further you drive, the more you're going to use, but I don't know why you would want to have it off on a day like today. Maybe if it was like 15, 16 degrees outside, I would just have the fan on and the air conditioning off. But today is so bloody hot. It's like 40 Celsius outside now because we've been sitting in the sun where I don't know why you wouldn't want to have the air conditioning on with the screens all closed. And as I pointed out, this car has um, Xpel, the solar IR tint on it so it really keeps it cool in here when everything's all closed up the recirculators is on and we drove the car we left here the fan speed was on one I cranked it up to three so yeah I told you I it didn't feel like it was going to be much to me it was 1.7 uh, 1.76 kilowatt hours between the, the two runs so do yourself a favor keep the air conditioning on and like and subscribe. I hope this was informative. I just wanted to have some fun and we, and we figured it out where basically it comes down to nothing. Uh, if you're worried about efficiency, if you're ultra nerdy and worried about efficiency and want to crank out the most, well, just slow down, I guess. Slow down five, 10 kilometers an hour to, to, uh, to get that back, uh, to, get, to get that lost efficiency back or drive at 80 kilometers an hour if you want and never get to your destination. The choice is up to you. You drive the way you want to drive. I drive the way I drive. I pointed this out in the comment sections. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.